Sterling Heights Public Library. My name is Brent, and today, well, it's maple season. We're going to be making pancakes. Come on down, I'll go over the ingredients, and uh, then we're going to go over the equipment, and we'll show you how to put it together and how to make them. So, we're going to be starting off. Uh, I've got some all-purpose flour. I've got some sugar, some baking powder. Baking powder, not baking soda, not the same thing. A couple of eggs. I've got some milk, a little bit of vegetable oil, and these are optional, but I'm going to include some blueberries. I'm going to go over the uh, equipment list here today. So we are going to need a couple of things, and this is, while we're not using the oven, this is a lot closer to baking than it is to cooking. So um, a certain amount of precision is kind of important here. So we're going to be using a couple of different bowls. we got um, two decent-sized bowls. I'm going to need a couple of measuring cups. i got a dry measure and a wet measure here. Uh, I've got some measuring spoons. I've got a good sized spoon here I'm going to use for scooping the flour and something to level that off with. I've got a rubber spatula and a whisk. We're going to go ahead and uh, mix our dry ingredients first. So one way to do that, to avoid packing your flour down too much, if you use a big spoon, scoop it into your measuring cup and then when you're baking, Level off. I'm going to do two cups of flour. Today's recipe is going to involve two teaspoons. Oh, excuse me. That's right, I'm making a double batch here. Uh, we're going to be needing four teaspoons of. Um, sugar. This is just regular granulated table sugar. And again, level them off a little bit before you do that. You can just give them a little wiggle. You don't have to use a scraper. And we're going to need four teaspoons of baking powder as well. Now, there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So you could use one tablespoon and one teaspoon. But that way. So we've got our dry ingredients here in a large bowl. I'm using a large mixing cup here. It doesn't have to be a large mixing cup, but this is going to give us a little bit of an advantage when it's time to um, move forward with this. Our wet ingredients are next. So we've got two eggs. We're going to crack those into a separate bowl, not into the, uh, the dry ingredients. And then we're going to beat these well before we add anything else. Whisk comes in handy here again, and I'm doing, I did the dry ingredients first so that I didn't try and mix the dry ingredients with a wet whisk because that would create lumps. Okay, so those are beaten in. We're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. The specific variety of vegetable oil is not real important. You can use canola, corn, vegetable, you know, just straight vegetable oil. I uh, would probably not recommend using olive oil unless you want your pancakes to taste like olives, but it's not usually the way I do them. And then we're going to go ahead and mix in the milk as well. Make sure that's all well combined. So we're going to use the rubber spatula here. We're going to make a little bit of a well in our dry ingredients. We're going to pour the wet in there and stir it in gently. You don't want to overmix this, but you do want to make sure that everything is well combined. So we're going to use kind of a folding motion on this. And this is the same method you would use for mixing muffins or waffle batter, quick breads. You don't want to overwork that flour because when you start doing that, you start developing a lot of uh, structure in, in that and it turns more into a dough rather than a batter. We're not really looking for a dough here. We want something that's nice and wet and easy to, easy to move. You do want to see if you can get any lumps out of here. You don't want any lumps, but again, do not overmix this. Okay, now that's 
not perfectly smooth, but it does have a nice consistency and I think we're good. Today we are going to be playing around with an electric griddle. Um, now if you don't have one of these, uh, you can use a skillet. That works great. Um, one of the nice things about this is it's nice and big and you can make multiple pancakes at one time. Now, in any case, whatever you're doing, you want to do a test to see when you're ready to, uh, to start your pancakes. Now, a little bit of water. I'll go ahead and do that again. See how this is just kind of boiling up? This is not hot enough yet. I got this thing set on 400 right now. Um, basically, you want a screaming hot um, griddle top on this. Um, so we're going to give that another minute or so to warm up, and I'll show you what it's actually going to look like when it's hot enough to cook on. So this thing's been preheating for a little bit here, and I want to show you what it's going to look like when it's ready. See how those little dots of water dance on the, on the griddle? That's what you're looking for. So, we're going to take a little bit of nonstick spray. This is a nonstick griddle anyway, so that's not a huge deal, but it's still a really good idea. I've got a scoop here. You can use a measuring cup or a spoon or a ladle. This is just really convenient. We're going to go ahead and just lay those right in there. Now, the size of your pancakes is up to you. You can make big, you can make small. You make big ones, you wind up making fewer pancakes. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a few here. I'll show you how to tell when they're ready to flip. One of the cool things about pancakes is they're a great way to teach young kids how to cook because they're super easy. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take some of those blueberries and I'm just going to go ahead and put them right in here. Sometimes you'll see folks put them actually right in the batter. That works, but this gives you a little bit more control over where they are. And these were frozen berries. I did let them thaw a bit before uh, I started the project. You don't want them super cold going in here because that can interfere with how the pancakes cook. Now you see these bubbles that are forming here? Those are a good thing. And when those start to break around the edges, that's a good indication that you're just about ready to flip your pancakes. Okay, now we're starting to form some little bubbles around the sides here and those are starting to break. Let's go ahead and flip one of these and we'll see. Because you want them to be cooked enough that they'll actually flip. Yep, see? There we go. Now, I originally put these in here, they got a little bit close together and they stuck together a little bit, but with your spatula, you can resolve that a little. Oh yeah, those are looking nice. So, they gotta go for, you know, a couple minutes on that first side, and then when you flip them over, the second side's not gonna take quite as long. So if you're cooking for a group, it's not a bad idea to have some sort of a pan like this here on hand to be able to uh, hold multiple pancakes while you're making your second batch. If you're just cooking for a couple of people, um, no big deal. You can go straight in. Yep, okay. So check that. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty nice. I'm going to give it just a little bit longer on that second side. And we're going to go ahead and um, put them over here into our holding tray and uh, get another batch going. These are just about done. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and Show you the back side here so back side's looking nice i'm just going to go ahead and put these into my holding pan and you can cover those with a clean towel just to keep them warm for the next batch to go on there's something i want to show you here and did you notice how um when i sprayed the uh the griddle See how we got this little bit of kind of lacy texture on the surface here? That's often what you're going to get when you um, spray the griddle and then put them down. Uh, once you've had the, uh, the pancakes on there, your second batch often comes out a little more like this unless you um, spray between batches. You spray between batches, you're likely to get this on every batch. This here, you don't get that. You get a little bit more smooth uh, surface on these. And these are about done. So. 
go ahead and put those in. Go ahead and plate a couple of these things up here in a moment. And put a little syrup on them, and we're going to get going. So, pancakes. Okay. We're going to take a couple of these blueberry ones. Well, actually, that's a plain one. We're going to get a plain one. We're going to get a blueberry one. Go ahead and give them a little bit of butter. Sure. Let that melt in a little bit. Now, everybody knows pancakes and syrup, right? And pancakes and syrup are great. Plenty of other things you can put on a pancake, though. You know what? Nothing wrong with a nice spoonful of jam, either. Pancakes. Easy, delicious. And it's the season.